First at five, we're learning new information tonight about what police say a man accused of drunk driving was doing before a deadly crash this weekend. And the suspect went before the judge this morning. Police say he crashed into a taxi on Route 95 in Attleboro early on Saturday morning. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in Attleboro with the new details tonight. Steph. Mike and Shannon, I'm standing in the way station where police say Michael Spinelli failed a field sobriety test, couldn't even finish the alphabet, and was arrested. This after he allegedly crashed into a taxi right here on 95, killing a passenger. 41-year-old Michael Spinelli, charged with motor vehicle homicide in the death of Kailash Bolar from East Greenwich. Police say Spinelli was driving drunk on 95 South in Attleboro early Saturday morning. When he crashed into a taxi, Mr. Bolar was the passenger. In the Massachusetts State Police report we've obtained, police say a driver called 911 to report Spinelli running him off the road, driving what the eyewitness thought was about 100 miles per hour. When police got there, the crash with the taxi had already happened. Mr. Bolar died on the scene. Police write in the report that Spinelli smelled strongly of alcohol, had urinated on himself, and could not recite the whole alphabet. A trooper writes, I asked Spinelli if he had consumed any alcoholic beverages earlier in the night, to which he replied, of course I did. It's St. Patrick's Day. Question further, Spinelli allegedly told the trooper, I had five or six beers. He later told police he had been bar hopping in Faneuil Hall before getting behind the wheel. He was charged with motor vehicle homicide, operating under the influence, speeding and more. He posted $10,000 bail hours after the crash on Saturday and was released. He remains free on that bail tonight on the conditions he does not drive and is tested daily for alcohol and drugs. And Kailash Bolar's family and friends tell me they're not quite ready to talk about him. He leaves behind a wife and a daughter. Coming up new at 6, what the suspect's defense attorney had to say. Live in Attleboro with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. But first, a man accused of driving drunk and hitting a taxi this weekend faced a judge today. The passenger in the taxi, a man from East Greenwich, was killed in that crash. New at 6 tonight, we're hearing from the suspect's attorney. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado has the details now live in Attleboro. Steph. Mike and Shannon, police say Michael Spinelli crashed into a taxi right here on 95 South, killing a father from East Greenwich who was in the back seat. And tonight, we're learning more about what he told police he was doing before the crash. Down, Police say 41 year old Michael Spinelli admitted to going bar hopping in Boston's Faneuil Hall Friday night before getting behind the wheel and driving down 95 South. One driver calling police around 1 a.m. Saturday to say Spinelli had run him off the road. But when police arrived, it was already too late. Spinelli had rear ended this taxi. The passenger in the back seat, 39 year old Kailash Bolar from East Greenwich, died on the scene. It's a tragic case, and, and our hearts go out for that family. Spinelli's defense attorney briefed expressing condolences to the family outside court, but declining to comment further on the case. In the Massachusetts State Police report we obtained, troopers say Spinelli smelled of alcohol and had wet his pants. Police did a field sobriety test. He couldn't even reach the end of the alphabet. One trooper writes, I asked Spinelli if he had consumed any alcoholic beverages earlier in the night, to which he replied, of course I did. It's St. Patrick's Day. Then telling police, I had five or six beers. The report says he told police the taxi was stopped in the middle of the highway and that's why he crashed into it. But the taxi driver says no, he was driving, trying to get Mr. Bolar from Logan Airport back home to his family. And Kailash Bolar's family and friends said they're not quite ready to talk to us about him. Now Spinelli posted $10,000 bail and is free tonight on the conditions he not drive and be tested for alcohol daily. Live in Attleboro with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Iowa News.